okay hello everybody uh, I will shoot this video to explain how to fix this problem okay everybody's facing these problems at the moment so let's get rid of all of this uh, and I want to start from scratch okay I will create a bucket and upload a landing page in it I do have so many questions and I will fix them all in this video I will answer them all in this video so just apply and everything's going to be good for you okay uh, let's start by creating our bucket okay S3 create bucket uh, click clicks 12 I'll call it clicks 1 okay next next create okay this is it clicks 1 come here permissions access control oh, no uh, public settings click here remove all of this okay click save confirm okay uh, come here and come to everyone every everyone make it all public okay now this is the bucket clicks one okay which is this one clicks one let's upload our landing page okay let's create a landing page generate the survey one generate quickly uh, just follow the tutorial and you won't have to ask again download Let's download this landing page save okay this is our landing page uh, this is it uh, let's call it LP1 LP1 let's come back to the bucket and upload okay just drag and drop upload let's wait okay select make public just select the folder and make public uh, another thing okay come here okay click here and go to permissions uh, come here properties okay static web hosting click here and click this one use the bucket this bucket for hosting a website uh, make the default index okay so if the if somebody called the name the domain name will go to the index uh, anyways uh, come back here let's take let's grab our domain name from scratch click clicks one one XYZ let's see if it's available I think so it's available add to cart uh, view card auto renewal confirm okay I will cut the video since I will pay okay I will pay via PayPal it's paying it's managed our domain mm -hmm. okay let's create uh, a certificate mm -hmm. okay uh, click one this is it next one uh, come here add uh, remove this okay add let's okay mm, I will not confuse you let's come here and create a certificate okay 
let's go create certificate manager let's go to certificate manager and request a certificate okay request a certificate from here type your domain name this is our domain name type it here okay uh, add another one for subdomains you can type for example something like that if you have a subdomains or something like that you can do like this okay no problem next dns validation let's validate this via email okay i will review this uh via email first i will come back before i confirm and request i will come back and i will add catch catch all okay redirect email and i will type my own email my personal email this is where the validation will go okay don't forget that uh, sometimes it takes some time okay i won't worry about this let's try to confirm and request uh, request in progress okay continue okay it's pending validation now uh, there is some emails that are going to come to my email and i will have to open them all and confirm and then the domain name will be uh, will be uh, will be confirmed let me wait uh, don't forget to create first okay create first catch all create this first then go and validate I will pause the video and uh, I will come back when I get the emails uh, and uh, if by the way you messed up and you haven't created the catch all email you can come back here and click resend validation email okay resend just in case okay i will pause until i get the the, the validation emails okay i did get the emails of the validation I get two emails hopefully this will validate okay I will click I'll click here I approve okay then I will come back and click here I approve I will come back I think I click twice here I approve okay let's go uh, let's go to the certificate and see if it's validated okay it's issue right now another thing to avoid any problems okay first of all go here first and add catch all catch all okay then wait like uh, like wait like 14 minutes or so then you can come and generate and request a certificate that will make it easier for you now let's go and create our distribution okay now you will not have any problems you will not have any problems you will come here and go to cloud front uh, now let's go create our distribution okay uh, get started what we call clicks one yes uh, scroll down yes let's leave the domain name this one here the C name uh, custom SSL certificate choose this okay and use our own certificate which is this one the one we have generated it's important don't forget that 
and uh, yeah default don't forget about this okay index.html if somebody accessed your domain name like this he will be sh he will be redirected to index.html he will see the index so let's create hopefully the error will go that's it the error is gone and now this is our distribution domain name let's link it with our domain name the one we bought so what we ha what we will do is we will copy the domain name of the distribution this one just follow step by step and go to advanced dns when you are in the advanced dns all you have to do is delete all of this delete delete uh, or change just leave make it small one minute uh, URL okay just add the CNAME record host make it www and add the value which is the domain name of the distribution and that's it and now you will wait you will wait lp1 slash index.html it's deploying at the moment okay in progress so we will wait i will wait a couple of minutes and i will i will uh, continue i will wait like 20 20 minutes or so hopefully everything will work by then sometimes it takes more but normally it takes less than one hour okay i have waited uh, until the bucket is deployed uh, the link of the distribution is working i think index.html but the lender is lp1 okay uh, and the domain name is working as well make sure you type ww like this okay it's working but it takes time uh, the domain name it ta it took a couple of minutes after this is deployed for the dns so if, if it's not working for you if this work is working for you and the domain name is not working for you you're gonna have to wait just wait and give it time if everything is set properly and uh, you can test https as well you see even https is working if some traffic source is requiring https then put it if not leave it because it's a little slow https is a little slow than http uh, only if it's required then use it or you can split test uh, anyways the other question that i keep getting is how to host multiple landing pages uh, so very simple just come back to the bucket okay what is our bucket this is it now we have lp1 here let's upload lp2 uh, let's create another landing page very quickly lp2 lp2 download download save okay this is what you're gonna do lp2 okay we have lp1 and lp2 you see just upload it here lp2 upload wait you see in the bucket there is lp1 and lp2 if you want you can add some index okay you can add some index.html as we left earlier we make the default route as index.html you can write something in it 
this is the whole page okay you can add it as well upload just in case I'm showing you you're not going to need this but just in case if somebody accesses the domain name directly he will get um, maybe it needs some time but let's check lp2 slash index.html uh, maybe we haven't given the public access make public that's it you see we have hosted we have hosted slash lp2.html slash index.html see this is the landing page two this is the landing page one in the same bucket and in the same domain name and HTTPS is working and uh, you can add unlimited landing pages just make sure when you create a landing page put the files of it in another folder and upload it here and that's it